The island of Rhodes lies 225 miles off the coast of Greece. It's the ideal place for a film or even a honeymoon. Evie and I had been married three weeks when I came here to make the guns of Navarone. We were promised time off for the honeymoon we hadn't had time for back home. Rhodes is an old fortified town. In the harbor, they say, once stood the Colossus of Rhodes, a statue that was one of the seven wonders of the world. It also has a Turkish quarter. Every Friday night, the Turks are called to prayer at the mosque. Before they're allowed to enter, they have to wash their feet and leave their shoes outside. We walked through squares where children were playing in the sunlight. One of them had set up in business as a baker. It tasted so good we had to share it with the other kids. Looks as if the baker knows his job. At the other end of the island lies Lindos, with its Acropolis on the hilltop looking out over the village below. It's a good place for admiring the view, picking flowers, or doing anything else that comes into your head. Below in the village, everyone had turned out to watch the unit filming. Most of them had never been inside a cinema before. We couldn't resist producer Carl Foreman's invitation to see what was going on. After all, it was a wedding. Only this one was taking place under the eyes of enemy soldiers. For a real tourist eye view of roads, Buy a donkey with a kind face and a good sense of direction. They'll ask a fair price, but a few hand signals are a great help. These handsome creatures could have taken us to the Acropolis in their sleep. In fact, that's what it felt like. But we made it, a climax to a wonderful day. But one look at the kike in the bay reminded me that the honeymoon was nearly over. Tomorrow I'd be back on the job as one of the six men who invaded Navarone. <laughs> 